as you watch these live pictures as we honor a hero, you can get a sheer understanding of why this procession will take 45 minutes as we look uh, at the other departments that have joined in the procession. Dejanit Garrison, my co-anchor, is there along Calder Avenue. Dej, if you can hear me, um, perhaps read off some of the other agencies who are participating. If you can see the, uh, the procession a little better than our vantage point. I'm hoping you guys can hear me a little better now. I was just speaking with 12 News reporter Jordan James about the massive show of support. Right now, Newton police are passing us. Uh, we just saw the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office passing. Port Arthur Police Department passing right now. We also saw Kirbyville. This is just really a strong show of support for a young officer lost too soon. Lamar University, her alma mater, passing us right now where she studied criminal justice just a short while ago and was just speaking to um, folks there who are interested in becoming law enforcement officers who want to take the same oath that Sheena took to protect and serve. Pinehurst police passing us right now. Also the University of Texas police system passing us right now. This is just really a testament to how far and wide Officer Sheena Yabro Powell's life has reached, the impact that she's left on Southeast Texas and this entire nation, uh, losing her life while in the line of duty, but a legacy that clearly will not be forgotten, Jordan. Dejanique, uh, I want to share a few reflections. Her professors at Lamar remember her as a leader in the classroom. You mentioned the, the police academy. She recently returned to share her experience with some of the new recruits. Her older sister, Sarah, Sarah Shelton, uh, fondly remembered the corny things they did, the special and, and ordinary moments that they shared. Um, her husband, Tyler, says he'll miss his best friend, the stubborn little energ energizer bunny. That's how he remembered her. And he says he's extremely proud of her life and her work. And we all are as we watch this, this special procession, as, as Dejanique said, just a, a profound showing of support for the Beaumont Police Department, for Officer Yarborough Powell's family, and for all our men and women in blue. Live pictures from Calder Avenue this morning. Uh, Dejanique, this is, we, we've seen a lot of processions. This is, this is um, you know, an, an incredible um, show of support. Not sure if Dej can hear me at this point. Folks, I'm going to let you watch these pictures live with us. And as the show of support continues down Calder Avenue, we just want to take note of the show of respect from the citizens here in Beaumont, Texas this morning. People are standing hands over their hearts, their hats off of their heads um, in a pretty somber moment. Um, this has been going on for about 10 minutes now and if I look down Calder, I don't see an end in sight and that just shows you how deep the respect is uh, for Officer Yabro Powell and her sacrifice for Southeast Texas, the blue lights just flashing in the distance. Law enforcement from near and far making their way here to Beaumont, Texas to pay their respects. Dejanique, on our screen, we also have another vantage point, uh, point showing the, the start of the procession. That is uh, closer to, I believe, the, the market basket there along Phelan. Uh, 12 News anchor Lauren Hensley, if you can hear me, set the scene for where you are. Jordan, um, yes, we're at uh, West Lucas and Phelan. We're over near the Market Basket, and I just want to give you this vantage point. People lining the streets, their hands over the heart as Beaumont Police is now making its way down the road. Now, um, in order for Beaumont Police to be able to attend in this mass number, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department is actually running calls to that department today. So they're freeing the Beaumont Police Department up so they can be he here today to honor Officer Sheena Yarborough Powell. Now, what's so striking to me is that there are generations of family lining the street. I mean, we're seeing mom, we're seeing dad, we're seeing grandma, we're seeing grandpa. We're seeing young kids with homemade signs. A lot of the signs saying back the blue. I even see a sign over here uh, giving Crime Stoppers a shout out as well. Um, 
waving American flags, just very peaceful, but also very somber. So right now we're seeing the Beaumont police cars make their way down Phelan along this procession route. So many of Sheena's colleagues, um, the demeanor on their face, very somber, very sad. So these blue lights, they just stretch on as far as the eye can see. Um, just an unbelievable show of support here on West Lucas and Phelan. And again, um, really wanna pay attention to these homemade signs. There's three of them on this side of the road. A heart, a black heart with a blue line through it. BPD's heroes back the blue. So not only is this side of the street packed with people, I want to take you over to the other side of the street. Also here, lined with people right in front of the market basket. Um, you can see that the search and rescue team, they have some banners here showing their respect as well. Um, hands over their hearts as these police officers and these law enforcement cars are making their way down the street. A really, really somber sign of respect. Um, I want to speak a little bit about uh, my time speaking with um, Sheena's sister, Sarah. Sarah's Sheena's older sister, and she just described this beautiful bond between sisters. The two of them enjoyed goofing around, being corny together. They enjoyed dancing, and they were very active at their church, which was uh, Cal which is Calvary Baptist Church. Sarah says it's not going to get any easier, and she is just at a loss mourning the passing of her sister but she will cherish all of these memories. And she is asking that if you have any video of her sister to please get in contact with the family because she would like to put together a remembrance piece. So a very, very strong sisterly bond between the two. Sheena definitely leaving a void in the Beaumont community. She joined law enforcement according to her sister because she wanted to be a voice for those who felt they did not have a voice. She wanted to make a lasting impact on the community and in her short time as a law enforcement official, she certainly did. So just a very, very somber scene, a powerful display of respect. Jordan, I'm gonna send it back to you. This is just so moving to see the community come out here, generations be 409 strong to honor Officer Sheena Yarborough Powell. 12 News anchor Lauren Hinsley, some, some fascinating and, and really moving reflections. As you said, you were able to speak with her sister, Shara, Sarah, earlier in the week um, about who Sheena was. And that, that gives us but a glimpse of a woman who, who really touched so many hearts. Uh, you know, I was touched earlier in the week by what Chief Jimmy Singletary said about how difficult of a time right now it is to be a police officer and yet how important it is. And scenes like this bind communities together. They bind departments together. Uh, they remind us that, that we are um, such, such an important um, community and that what we do, what they do, uh, is so important. Live pictures on the left here, and there is a closer look at the procession. We saw the fire trucks, some of the, the first responders that have now joined in. Um, Dejani Garrison, if, if we can uh, chat with you, this has now been going on by my count at least 15, 20 minutes here uh, since the procession started. So uh, this, this is, uh, as you said, just continues down Calder Avenue. Jordan, you're right. This procession is just continuing for as far as the eye can see. We saw a few motorcycle clubs passing. Uh, you see a few wreckers now with their American flags and uh, their thin blue lines to back law enforcement. And I couldn't help uh, but talk to a woman who is, is not too far from us. Her name's Cheryl. And I saw you crying, Cheryl. Um, and, and as I spoke earlier about the, the tone here, not only is it somber, but you could just feel the grief enveloping uh, the community. And Cheryl, just explain to me why you're feeling this so deeply today. Well, it's not just the people from all over Texas coming and paying their respects. It's a 23 year old that turned her life into such a positive direction. She's somebody's child. She, somebody's wife, she didn't get to become a mother. She had so much to look forward to and was going in such a positive direction to be doing her job and just to have everything cut so short. It just breaks my heart. And I, I think so many people around town share the same sentiment because you can feel 
a piece of your life in Sheena's, whether you're a mom who, who lost a child or whether you're you're a mom who, you know, is waiting to have a child and you think about the life she had left to live. Is, is that what there it is? So much of it, just so much left. I mean, her, I'm sure her mom is thinking of all the, what could have been, you know, she could have been a grandmother. This, this girl just had so much to, to give and was willing to give so much of herself that she ended up giving the ultimate gift. And, uh, I mean, her life was shed for, for Beaumont, you know. And, and that is something that we will continue to feel and we continue to hear, but we can take some solace in the fact that there are so many from far and wide. To see the families coming out and to see the families teaching their children to show the respect for a police officer is so much needed right now. You know, uh, in all this blue lives, black lives, white lives, all lives, you know, this is truly a community and the community is what matters and we need to bring that in our homes and in our lives more i could not agree more thank you so much cheryl thank and you. um i'm going to send it back to you jordan as the procession just ended here on calder and continues through the city of beaumont where our 12 news coverage continues with my colleagues dejani garrison and cheryl a woman who lined the route this morning along calder avenue offering her reflections about why this matters so much and the impact um, that Sheena Yarbrough Powell had on all of us, even those of us who, who didn't know her until this week. Now the nation knows who Sheena, who Sheena is and the impact that she had. We're going to continue monitoring the live pictures. Folks, if you are along the processional route, uh, you can send your photos and videos to us. We're going to be putting them together, sharing them throughout the day um, on 12 News. So you can text them to 409 838 1212 as we pause to honor this hero this morning. Her funeral is going to be at 11 o'clock at Calvary uh, Baptist Church there at Dallin and Folsom. We have 12 news crews all along that procession route. So uh, folks, if we've got more pictures, please share them right now. Uh, in the meantime, I wanna talk just a little bit more about uh, the last call. And that is a conversation that Tyler Powell, Sheena's husband, so emotionally shared with us earlier, earlier in the week. Um, he spoke with her roughly five minutes before that crash last Sunday morning. And at the time, she was letting him know that she had found a, a, a cat, a kitten as I understand it, uh, or maybe a cat that, uh, that she wanted to bring home. These are some photos of Sheena. That smile, the sassy, spunky Sheena that her family and friends cherish at this point. Uh, I understand that we have uh, Kiara Sam, one of our 12 News reporters, who is along the route. Uh, Kiara, if you can hear us, uh, tell me where you are right now and what you're seeing. Yeah, Jordan, I'm here at the corner of Dallin and Phelan. The procession has just um, came along this route. Many Southeast Texans are still lining the streets in this area, families, friends. And if you can see behind me, there's a wrecker with a, uh, with a lowered flag in honor of fallen police officer Sheena. With, I have uh, many people who are telling me that they're here, um, not by force, but because they want to be here, they want to show their support. And I actually have seen so many wreckers in, the, in this area of, like I said, I'm in the area of Dallin and Phelan. And I have a, um, a person from TNT Wrecker Service, his name is Philip and he's willing to speak with me about you know why it's important for him to be here why it's important um that we honor not only pay tribute but honor and and have some respect for fallen officer Sheena Yabarro Powell his name is Philip and I'll bring him into the shot right now um Philip can you just tell me a little bit like why is it important for you to be here just a little bit uh the police are always there for the public, they're there for us, and we're here to show our support and reference to the people that spend so much of their time helping support us. And, I mean, how many record services are here? Uh, right here on this corner you have TNT, Spanky's, Neff, and Johnny's, to my knowledge, from what I can see right here where I'm at. And you said this isn't by, you said this isn't by force, this is, this is because you purely want to be out here. Um, I mean, how did you feel when you heard about the news? Uh, we... We never like to see a fallen officer. We, we, we work with them every day. They're friends. They're, they're family to us. And we want to do anything and everything we can to show support for them and everything that happens for them. Thanks, Thanks Philip.
And I'm going to step out of the shot again. You can see the police cars. They're still heading down Dallin and Phelan. Um, many of them are, um, they have their windows down. They're, they're looking at these flags, these flags with the blue line and the American flag, of course. Um, if you can see further down, there are many people who are outside of their cars, just Southeast Texans in general, paying their respects to the fallen officer um, who just passed away, uh, just was in a terrible accident just six days ago. Um, All right, Kiara, uh, uh, thank, you, thank you for that what, perspective. I'm going to come in just a second because I know we've got a couple more pictures that we want to share. Again, her view there from Phelan and Dallin as we watch the procession a procession that's taking about 15 minutes to, to pass uh, any individual location. And you see some of the other agencies, Port Arthur Police, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. 12 News anchor Lauren Hensley was talking about how Jefferson County Sheriff's deputies stepped up today to answer calls all around the city of Beaumont so that the Beaumont police could be part of this procession. We're going to continue to monitor these live pictures. We also have 12 News anchor Vanessa Broussard uh, closer to Calvary Baptist Church, and we'll be checking in with her in just a second, as I understand it. Um, let me, guys, let me know when we, when we have Vanessa, because I want to make sure that we're there uh, when the procession arrives at the church, because we know uh, right there along that stretch of Dallin, we've seen the pictures, there are tons and tons of people who have gathered. Right now, this is the view from Phelan and Dallin right there in front of the Talbots and Exigen where they, the procession is making that northward turn onto Dallin. I want to let you guys listen in for just a second. Nine thirteen, nine thirteen on this Saturday morning. Special coverage as Southeast Texas comes together to honor the officer, Officer Sheena Yarbrough Powell, who lost her life in a crash along Cardinal Drive roughly a week ago, killed in the line of duty. Twelve News anchor Vanessa Broussard. Uh, Vanessa, I think you can hear me. You're closer to Calvary Baptist Church uh, as the procession now comes down Dallin. Set the scene for us. I think the word that best describes today is respect. There's a lot of respect for Officer Sheena Powell, the, the service that she provided for the city of Beaumont, the Beaumont Police Department, and all of our first responders who service every single day. And that's what people out here are doing. This is what the citizens are doing. They're respecting Officer Sheena Powell and the legacy she left behind, the, the lines of people down Dallin Road. It's just amazing. It's heartwarming to see just driving down the road is, is a tearjerker because you see American flags, you see uh, signs made by kids, you see kids out there with their hands on their hearts wearing red, white, and blue. You see the elderly out here battling the heat already this morning, uh, sweating it out to honor this officer, and it's just heartwarming to see. You're looking at pictures right here in front of Calvary Baptist Church where Sheena's funeral will be held momentarily. You can see people with blue tents set up flying their flags. The Beaumont Fire Department is parked with a large American flag billowing in the breeze, blowing in the breeze beautifully over Dallin Road as people drive down Dallin Road. Mm -hmm. Um, if you look to the right, you can see, or the, I'm sorry, my left, you can see people starting to walk into the church. Now, this is closed to the public due to uh, COVID-19. They can only fill the church to 50% capacity, so it's only including Sheena's family, her church family, and police officers, uniformed police officers. Uh, the family members starting to walk in now. We've seen uh, the Beaumont Police Department uh, setting up here, getting ready for the, the, the services that will happen after the funeral, and that's very important. This is going to be taking place outside here at Calvary Baptist Church. They will uh, hand uh, an American flag, a folded flag, to Sheena 
Tina's husband. They will do a 21 gun salute and then they will do a missing man flyover courtesy of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office and that will take place immediately following her funeral. But again, you can see people starting to come in. Uh, we've seen uh, Beaumont police officers already walking inside the church. We've seen her family members. And you can see right here, they're hugging each other right now, um, right here where you can see the, the flags flying at half staff. They're all gathered in a group, hugging each other, tears. Um, this life just so tragically lost early last Sunday morning. A young, beautiful woman just married. She was only married for 10 months when she lost her life. Uh, she was a, a daughter, uh, she was a wife, she was a sister, and she was family to her co-workers. And she was just a beautiful person uh, inside and out, we're told. Um, everyone who knew her loved her. And it's just great to see um, as we wait for this procession, all the people out here along Dallin Road waiting for this procession to tell Sheena goodbye one last time. But as we watch these live pictures, I was just reading over the obituary that the family put together. And I want to I want to share a paragraph of it. We don't often do that on TV, but it's so, so profound to hear the family's words. And, and I'm going to read just a moment. Uh, bear with me from her obituary. The family writing that, quote, Sheena was a beautiful, sassy, spunky woman who brought so much joy, happiness, and craziness to her family. She is daughter number five of six girls. From Sunday lunches to yearly vacations, the family bond has always remained strong. The late night talks and occasional sleepovers were full of silliness, laughter, and lots of bluebell ice cream. From karate chopping best friends in the throat to wrestling sisters to the ground over shoes, she showed her true competitive nature. She took pleasure, they write, in annihilating family and friends in board games, random dance-offs, and workouts. And she had an innate ability to make others smile with her glowing personality and was an amazing, genuine woman some of the reflections the family shared about Sheena. Live pictures here uh, on two different sections of Dallin. That's Dallin and Phelan on the left. You can see some of the firefighters, paramedics, EMS personnel, part of this long procession that also includes motorcycle clubs, wreckers from around Southeast Texas, the community coming together in such, such a profound way to honor, honor this hero and make sure that her life is never forgotten. Sheena is the 18th officer to die in the line of duty in the Beaumont Police Department. Born in Nederland, she grew up in Lumberton. As I said, the, the fifth of six girls, the second youngest child in her family. We'll watch some of these pictures right now. Uh, the view on the right there, closer to the church where Vanessa is broadcasting. Procession has not quite made it to, to Calvary Baptist in this section of Dallin. We've talked earlier, um, and this is, this is worth reminding, Sheena had uh, only been a Bowman police officer since January of 2019, so she came right out of the police academy. 12 News spoke with Karen Robeck, um, one of Powell's instructors while she was at Lamar, and she remembers Sheena as the type of student that you, quote, never forget about. Saying here, Sheena told them that she wanted to go out and make a difference one-on-one. -on -one. She wanted to be in the field. She wanted to be there when that child was afraid or when that tragedy was happening. As we've been telling you, the funeral at Calvary Baptist still um, about an hour and a half away. It is set to start at 11 o'clock. That funeral will be closed to the public. The church will be streaming it on its website and its Facebook page if you want to be looking for that. Again, closed to the public due to COVID-19. watching some of the motorcycle uh, aspect of this procession at this point. Making its way north on Dallin. Boy, is it striking to see how many people came out early to show their support for the Beaumont Police Department and Sheena's family setting up tents there along Dallin.
You can see on the left some of the other agencies part of this procession. Officers spending their Saturday. Many of them would have already, you know, would have been off for the weekend, but they wanted to be here to show support for Beaumont PD. And Jordan, I just want to say, if you can hear me right now, that I'm standing next to uh, a man who knew Sheena. His name is Harrow. He works at Elena's Mexican restaurant in Beaumont, and he catered her wedding just 10 months ago. And he says she was wonderful. When I asked him, what was she like? He grabbed his heart, took a deep breath and said, oh my God, she was wonderful. He says she was so appreciative of, of how we helped her with our wedding and uh, made it a day for her to remember. And he said, and it just made me feel so good that we provided the job that she wanted. And he just kept on and on about how wonderful she was. But when he gasped and, and took a breath and grabbed his heart when I asked her, how was she? That goes to show you just how wonderful of a person she was. Again, we're here, I'm whispering because it's very quiet, very somber. Uh, the family members are here standing at the church. Uh, you just saw moments ago, hugging, crying as uh, they walked to uh, the front of the church, now watching this procession arriving. You can see the hearse carrying Sheena's body now arriving at the church and we'll let you listen in. Folks, as you watch these live pictures, as Vanessa said, just eerily quiet on what is normally such a busy stretch of Dallin as the community pauses to reflect, to honor, and spend part of their morning making sure that the city realizes how important Sheena Yarbrough Powell's service and sacrifice were. Again, that funeral will begin at 11 o'clock at Calvary Baptist Church. You can see how long this uh, procession is. So many, uh, so many cars, motorcycles, wreckers, fire trucks, ambulances, part of that procession. My colleague, Dejanique Garrison, has uh, rejoined the procession. She was at the funeral home where it started. I believe Dejanique is back with us right now. Uh, Dej, tell us where you are. I'm not sure we can hear Dej. There we go, Dej. We've got you now. Sorry about that. All right, there we are. There we are. Um, my colleague, 12 News reporter Jordan James, and I are right in front of the HEB Plus on Dowlin Road where the procession continues. We are seeing several uh, police vehicles and supporters here in honor of Officer Sheena Yambro Powell. Um, a few of the officers I'm seeing in these vehicles wiping tears away from their eyes. I think they're just so moved by the showing of support from our entire community uh, coming out on this Saturday morning to pay their respects. Uh, and if you take a look at how many folks are out here lining Dowlin with their flags, uh, we're panning for you to see the sea of American flags just lining the streets. And if you look out in the distance to the top of the screen there, the fire department has the American flag blowing in the breeze in the air as Sheena Yabra Powell's colleagues ride through the streets of Beaumont, Texas to pay their final respects to this fallen officer. Um, we've been mentioning, mentioning this all morning of just the somber tone, how quiet it is. You see folks here with their hands over their hearts. Several of the people along this route have just been saying thank you over and over again as each police unit passes by, offering their sincere support for these folks who take an oath to protect and serve us every single day, knowing that there's a risk that they may not come home to their families. And that's what happened to the officer just about a week ago. And so the community is coming together to really show its support for law enforcement near and far. I want to stick with these live pictures, with the flags. How stirring. 
On the right, that's the view from where Vanessa is reporting, right outside Calvary Baptist Church. We haven't talked a lot about this, but her faith was, was really important to who Sheena was. It's how she met her husband, Tyler, uh, and as, as Vanessa was mentioning, how they got married just 10 short months ago. Because of COVID, the funeral will be, will be private that you know that in some small way, her family would have wanted all of us to be able to be in there. And here are the stories um, that are gonna be, gonna be shared this morning. We know the church will be streaming that service on, on its Facebook page and also uh, on its website, Calvary Baptist there in Beaumont. So we've been on the air with you for 45 minutes. This procession that started right off of Calder and Fourth at Bruce Arts Mortuary made its way down Calder to Phelan and now down Dallin. And these are the two perspectives uh, along Dallin. Dejanique's camera there on the left, uh, Vanessa's on the right. And you can see some of the people pausing in silence to offer prayers and reflections and to really pay tribute, not just to Sheena, but to, to so many men and women who selflessly serve our communities. Vanessa, if you can still hear me, and I know it's, it's challenging because it's so quiet there, but uh, we'll forgive you for whispering, but what, what strikes you most as you stand there outside Calvary? Like I said earlier, Jordan, it's the respect that we're seeing. You know, these, these citizens know what our officers put on the line every single day when they walk out of their doors, their front doors every day to go to work. Their families don't know if they're coming home. And unfortunately, in Sheena's case, that was a real life scenario Sunday morning. And, and it's just sad, it's heartbreaking. Um, we see love, uh, that's another big word, love. And that's what this world needs more of right now. A community of all ages, all ethnicities coming together, standing out here today, um, showing support you know, gathering together for one common uh, purpose, and that's to show love, and, and that's what we need more of. And unfortunately, it took a situation like this for that to happen. But, um, you know, Sheena, Sheena's name, as you said earlier, uh, no one uh, in the public uh, really knew who she was, but she's not just known now in Southeast Texas, but also all over Texas and all over the country. Uh, we've been seeing uh, thoughts and prayers pour in from uh, state congressmen, uh, national congressmen, uh, people from all over the country. So Sheena has really made a very big impact um, on bringing this community together today. Absolutely. Uh, she took her oath to become a Beaumont police officer January 8th of 2019. Sheena earned her bachelor's degree in criminal justice. She went on and completed the police academy uh, at Lamar and then joined BPD, assigned to the fourth watch patrol we mentioned her wedding just 10 months ago to, to Tyler Powell. As you watch these live pictures, again, two different stretches of Dallin, the, the church on the right, I believe that is closer to the HEB on the left. So many Southeast Texans taking time to be there and, and honor, honor Sheena's sacrifice. If you have photos and videos, you can share them with us throughout the day. Simply text them to 409-838-1212 we will share them on our website and also as part of our coverage. Dejanique, are you still with us? I am Jordan. Set the scene for where you are. Alrighty, so I'm taking you back out here to tell them just in front of the HEB Plus. Um, and I'm going to turn the camera so that you can see the stretch of flags and how many people are out here, just to give you a better vantage point. And the scene out here is a word we've been saying since this morning. It's, it, it's really just somber. Um, it's diverse in terms of 
uh, age, in terms of race, in terms of creed. I think people are just coming together today out of a sense of respect. Um, respect for Sheena's sacrifice, respect for law enforcement, and respect for our community as a whole. Um, and it would be lost on us, not to mention we do see several folks out here who have their masks on. It's, it's a Southeast Texas August day, and, and as early as it is in the morning, we know how warm it could still be. And people are still making sure they're protecting themselves while still paying their respects to the officer. Um, just a sign of the times that we're in right now. Um, a tragedy in the midst of a pandemic, which is why Sheena's funeral will be closed to the public in order for her family and friends to safely pay their respects. Uh, right now, the Port Natchez Fire Department is passing by and we're seeing some motorcycles that are going to cycle through in just a bit. One of the many clubs that has been a part of this procession today. We've seen folks from near and far, not just Southeast Texas, but from all over the state make it to our region to pay their respects. It may be a little tough for you to hear me now because the motorcyclists are passing through, um, coming on down Dowlin. And right behind them, we're gonna see a crew of wreckers with their lights flashing in honor of Officer Yambro Pyle Jordan making their way down the procession. I was just jumping onto our Facebook feed. Thousands of you watching with us right now uh, on our 12 News uh, website, also on our 12 News Now app. We're streaming on YouTube and to Facebook at this point. Um, so many of you sending up your prayers for her family this morning, telling her to truly rest in peace. And the flags, flags striking for, for many of us as we see these images along down. And I want to go back to Vanessa Broussard, who is at Calvary Baptist. Vanessa? Um, we just watched the family walk in, uh, escorted by uh, the casket. Uh, they were surrounding the casket as um, the pallbearers uh, took her out of, of the hearse and uh, brought her into the church uh, for this funeral to begin. But as you can see, as the family walked in, the line of police cars still coming in, hundreds of police cars. Uh, now you see... Uh, uh, ambulances, fire trucks, uh, just so many different um, first responders from all over Southeast Texas and the state of Texas coming in to show support. And they're still driving down Dallin Road. And it looks like one parking lot is full. So these vehicles are now going to uh, an overflow parking lot. And as I just mentioned, they have now uh, brought her casket inside the church, and the family has walked in the side. Now, Vanessa, do you happen to know if, I, I would assume since the funeral is private, that uh, any burial or committal services will also be private? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Now, where we're standing, uh, the, the public, if um, you know people, if they're out here right now watching, or if people are at home watching, you can still park right across the street from the church. We're located at Texas Bed Company, Wood Forest National Bank, and Lazy Boy, right here at Folsom and Dallin, across the street. Now you can park here and watch the uh, the the 21 gun salute, uh, the folding of the flag. They're going to call out her number one last time on the on the radio, which is if you've heard it. It is so emotional and so sad because she's not there to answer. And so uh, they'll call out her number on the Beaumont Police radio. And then they'll do the missing man flyover, courtesy of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. So that's all going to take place right outside the church where I'm standing, uh, immediately following the funeral. And the public can watch from a distance. So by our best guess, that would probably be sometime around noon, assuming everything uh, happens on schedule. The funeral uh, supposed to start uh, at 11 o'clock there at Calvary Baptist. And there's the, the motorcycles part of this procession. We also, as we've mentioned, have ambulances, fire trucks, wreckers from around our region, around the state, who've driven to Beaumont to be part of this, part of this special day, this police procession for our fallen officer, Sheena Yarbrough Powell. The end of her watch coming 
little over a year and a half after she joined the ranks officially of the Beaumont Police Department and took her oath to serve and protect all of us. Those of you watching with us on Facebook, I've been reading some of your comments. We thank you for, for honoring Sheena. Phil is saying, may God protect the blue. Carolyn writing in in the last couple of minutes saying how glad it is, or how glad she is to see so much support in this, in this trying time, this tragic time. And so many prayers of thanks for Sheena's service and her sacrifice. Again, we are broadcasting on all of the platforms of 12 News right now, our Facebook, uh, YouTube, 12newsnow.com, and our 12 News Now app. And if you happen to mention any, uh, miss, I should say, any part of our feed this morning, uh, it will be archived on those various platforms for you to, to watch and share with your loved ones. You can send us your pictures. We'd love you to share them with us. Photos, videos, so many of you lining the procession route. Text those to 409-838-1212. As Vanessa was mentioning, uh, we are going to be seeing quite a few uh, really, really impactful things after the service as well. Uh, that missing man flyover that's going to be happening uh, probably closer to noon by our best estimate as this uh, funeral wraps up. And as you can see right now, uh, Jordan, the uh, motorcycle officers are all lining up directly across from the parking lot where these law enforcement officers from all over the state parked. That way they can be uh, prepared to uh, leave once this, uh, this funeral is over. They're the last ones to go in. And they're making a formation for the exit once the funeral is over. Vanessa, we're, we're about to wrap up our, our live coverage here. Uh, any final reflections from you? Uh, yes, again, it, it's been wonderful to see the, the love, the respect, uh, the, the gratitude coming from all of Southeast Texas. It's been wonderful to see the community of all ages, ethnicities, religions come together and just say thank you. And that's what we need to see more of every day. Uh, you know, we hate to see that a, a police officer's life had to end for this to happen. Uh, we need to do this every single day. And it's just wonderful to see. It's heartwarming. Uh, it makes your heart actually happy to see um, all of the people coming together and, and showing love for Sheena, someone many of them never even met. Uh, they just wanted to say thank you one last time uh, to this officer and um, you know, continue to back the blue. You learn a lot about where you live during moments like this. And this makes us proud to be 409 strong and proud, Absolutely. proud to show support for the Beaumont Police Department. And we're um, honored uh, to be able to share these moments with you as we took time this morning and so many around Southeast Texas took time to honor this hero, Sheena Yarbrough Powell. Folks, we are going to wrap up our live coverage right now. We will leave up pictures as the remainder of this procession arrives at Calvary Baptist Church for Officer Sheena Yarbrough Powell's funeral a 23-year-old who was born in Nederland, who grew up in Lumberton and gave our life, gave her life for us in the line of duty. Thank you for being with us this morning.